Hello friends, in this video, we will see an introduction to the theory of equations. So in most of the competitive exams, always they ask to find the roots of a given quadratic equation. So first of all, we will see what is quadratic equation. What is quadratic equation? So a quadratic equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a comma b comma c are constants so a comma b comma c are constants and a is not equal to 0 a is not equal to 0 so then the, the equation is called as quadratic equation okay so if the given equation is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c where a, b and c are constants and a not equal to 0. So then that equation is called as quadratic equation. So always in the competitive exam we are asked to find the roots of this equation. So what is root? Root is actually some value we substitute in this uh, equation instead of the x. So then that will satisfy the given equation. Satisfying means the left side value and the right side value is going to be equal. So that is called as a root. So root is what? Some value which we will substitute instead of the x in this equation and that will satisfy the given equation. So that means the left side value and the right hand value is going to be equal. So that is the root. So the roots of the given equation and the roots of the actually the given uh, quadratic equations are given by so that means the value of the x are given by x is equal minus b plus or minus under the root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so this one is the equation i mean the values of the roots of this equation are given by x is equal minus b plus or minus we take one time plus and we take minus one time under the root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so that means we will get two values for x one is by taking plus another one is by taking minus so that means whenever the quadratic equation is given so it is going to be contain two roots okay two roots so those values are given by minus b plus or minus under the root of b square minus 4ac by 2a so let us consider one equation so that is a square minus 4x uh, plus 4 is equal to 0 is equal to 0 okay so now we have to find the roots of the equation so the roots of this equation is given by minus b so in this a is equal to 1 because here a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 4. So we substitute these values in this the root in this equation. Okay. So that is x is equal to minus b. Already b is minus 4, so it is going to be 4 plus or minus and the root of b square, b square is 16 minus 4 ac. So 4 into 1 into 1. So that is going to be 16 by 2a. 2 into a is 1. So x is equal to 4 plus or minus 0 by 2. So x is equal to uh, 1 is 1 time 4 by 2. And another one we take minus here. So that is also going to be 4 by 2. So x is equal to 2 comma 2. So both are same. So we are going to be taking x is equal to 2 value. So the root of this equation is given by is going to be equal to 2. We will substitute this value in this equation. So we both sides it will satisfy the equation. So 2 square is 4 minus 4 into 2 8 plus 4 equal to 0. So this is going to be equal to 0 equal to C. So this is the word actually. Using this one we can find the roots of the given equation. So there is another method is there. So that is the factorization method. By using that also you can find the squares of the given equation. Okay. We can find the roots of the given equation. Okay. 
So for example, this equation is there. So we can write this equation like x square minus 2x minus 2x plus 4 equal to 0. So from this I will take x as a comma, x into x minus 2. So from this I will take 2 as a comma. So that is going to be x minus 2 equal to 0. x minus 2 equal to so 0. So we have x minus 2, x minus 2 in both of them. So I will take that one as a comma, x minus 2. So remaining one is going to be x minus 2 equal to 0. So if both this one is going to be 0, then x minus 2 equal to 0 and x minus 2 equal to 0. This one or this one is going to be true. So in both the cases, x is equal to and x is equal to. So this one will give the value of the x, which is the root of the given equation. So thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel.